Good evening, ladies, gents, and everyone watching. My name is Neon Colored, and I'm once again bidding you welcome to the Women's Racing League today for the final day of the WRL Season 1 Championship. Casting with me today is Valen, and in the background, you'll surely see the work of Critty. Good evening to you as well. Good evening to everyone watching. Uh, I hope you guys are ready because this is the culmination of four months of racing, of practice, and we are about to watch the top four duke it out uh, on the maps that we've been seeing um, since September, really. Season one of the Women's Racing League is about to have a champion. The beta season was won by Red Blue. They will not be winning at this time around because they have decided not to play but there will be a successor so i am um, let's find out who it is let's find out who it is yeah and currently we have four teams left to be that successor and the first match of the day is going to be in the lower bracket between meow and the equinox who are fighting for their chance to get into that upper bracket to maybe land an upset against fairy tale and uh, the birds of prey and saying these two names you already know who the favorites are these two teams have met in the upper bracket finals and in the grand finals of the november tournament where birds of prey took the champ the november tournament against fairy tale which means they are also most likely going to be the favorites for today they participated yes. in two tournaments they won both those tournaments but equinox can still claim they got through as a number one seed because they participating in all three tournaments and winning the october tournament took yeah. the most championship points exactly they've uh, gone on a really really good run here um let's take a look at some of the stats uh because i did some uh, i did some pre-research and i have some note in right here Equinox has uh, driven against Meow once, and they lost that game. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And it is, uh, let me see, the um, the Fairy Tales and the Birds of Prey have met each other twice, and both of those matches have won um, have been won by the Birds of Prey. So uh, this is going to be an interesting one. I think Equinox and Meow are kind of evenly matched, um, but yeah, the, it does. Speak in their favor that Meow has won one, one of those. So, who knows? Maybe the Equinox ladies are coming back with a vengeance, or maybe Meow's going to repeat that uh, that little trick that they did. It's going to be it's going to be a good one. Yeah, Birds okay. of Prey uh, have played two events, won both. Birds of Prey have not lost a match yet. Every single match they've played eight matches, they've won every single one. So uh, they're the team to beat, honestly, uh, today. And um, let's see, maybe someone's up to the task, but uh, it's going to be a hard cookie to crack. Not just that. Uh, you, of course, know Talibird is new in the league, has not attended the beta season, but Yeva has been there, has played the group stage, unfortunately was not able to participate in the championship event in the beta season. But uh, that also means with the 6-0 and record that she got out of the group with, with... Uh, Sophie Eva back then. She is yet to be beaten on the WRL stage. And that is something that not even Red Blue were able to do in the September event. Exactly. Which means it's not just a lack of competition. It she has literally beaten the big names. And yeah, she they beat them twice, also... actually. Birds of Prey. They beat Red <laughs> Blue twice. They beat yeah. Red Blue twice. They also beat Luna Anna, who went on to participate in the finals in the beta season, just fell short to Red Blue. They have, she's also beaten... Uh, she's also beaten... What's her name again? Fairy Tale uh, twice <laughs> in the last tournament. Yes, have. So basically have the me. only thing that's missing so far is Equinox. Did they play against Equinox already? Um, Do you have any data on Birds that? Birds of Prey has not played against Equinox, no. They have not met each other yet. They've played Meow uh, twice. They've played the Lilies. They've played the Wild Things and Fairy Tales and Red Blue, but uh, not Equinox. So that could be an interesting one. Pick and ban. I am looking at a list right now. We are waiting for Linko to ban a map for Equinox. And that map is Biochemistry. We'll not be seeing that one 
uh, in this match up. Now, Zara is going to ban a map for Meow. Of course, the teams are Zara and Ya for Meow um, and Shorty and Linko for Equinox. So um, we're waiting for Zara to uh, pick something here. I'm very curious how that works. Let's see. Um, Equinox. Yeah, Meow beat them once. Do you think they will repeat it? What do you think? Well, one result is, of course, telling that one day Meow had the upper hand against Equinox, but we're going to see if that is actually repeated today or if Equinox can actually fight back. We had a similar thing in the October event where uh, Equinox lost to the Lilies, I think, in the upper bracket finals and then ran it back with a sensational victory in the grand finals. So mm -hmm. they definitely can punch back. We have seen this before. Uh, next Serafina. up, we have the first pick. It's Serafina. Once again, Ellipse's newest map. One of the most popular in the WRL, apparently, among the players. And we also get Nest. One of the traditional, one of the first five maps in the season. And we're going to see what we have as a follow-up. Biochemistry and Supernation, two of the initial five maps, are already banned. But you know what's not banned? Viridian Hills. Not yet. Decadence <laughs> is going to be the next pick by um uh, by Meow. Uh, so we will be seeing that one. But indeed, Viridian Hills, we haven't seen it once. And of course, it's a huge pace map. Like, there's not a lot of mistakes there, right? It's 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 basically two drifts and everything else is just pace so it's really a pace map so i can see why people want to ban it um celestia will be played however um in uh this matchup if we go to map of four Viridian hills is banned attention will not be played and the the cider map will be a thorns so serafina is the first one that we're going to be uh, playing serafina nest decadence okay Yeah, they really okay. hate Viridian Hills, but you know, at least the is not banned yet. Um, <laughs> next up, you said it before, Serafina. A map that is really popular, a map that we have seen a lot, and a map that is really satisfying to drive to, especially if you get a little bit of practice under the uh, under your belt, you definitely go out there swinging you set some really good times and i think today is a day where a new world record might actually come into play in the live action what do you think it could be possible yeah we've got some really fast girls going today i mean this is the culmination of like, like i said before four months of practice um four months of racing and to get into the top four um, in this event, that means you are fast and you are good. And I think all these girls have a chance at winning. I There is a favorite, uh, of course, but don't count any one of them out. But hopefully we'll see some world records. That would be kind of spectacular. Love to see it. It's hard to do in rounds, though. Hard to do in rounds. Here we go. The warm-up is about to start on Serafina, the map made by Ellipse. Linko and Shorty versus Zara and Ya. Let's see who comes out on top. I think the uh, ladies of uh, Equinox have a bone to pick with this result that they had previously. So maybe Absolutely. that's what they get today. Yeah. We're waiting for the warm up to end. It's looking like an exciting match up ahead a reminder this is still the best of five we're going to the first round it's lights out and away we go and ya is immediately into the lead never mind not quite linko is in the lead instead and sarah is stealing it away right <laughs> again so this means we have sarah in the lead shorty and p2 we have seen that before i think and it is only fitting because those two have definitely yeah, they have just uh, continued to bring up their performances 
again and again and again and again. And I think yep. today we're going to see them on top of their game into They're the so third part. Wow. Shorty with a much better line into the ice. But can she keep it clean through there? She can, but Sarah is just a little bit quicker. Is she quick enough to steal that first place away? She is not. Short, Shorty is taking the first win of the day. Sarah in second. Victory. And Linko is making it a victory for Equinox. A victory to start out with. That is a nice one to have on the menu or on the board. We're going into round two. It is only one point difference, so anything is still possible. And of course, we're going to three maps in total that you want to win. So we still have a long road ahead. Let's go. We have a mistake here in the beginning by Zara. An uncharacteristic mistake because she is usually very consistent. So it is Linko and Shorty now who are taking the lead. And Ya with about a point three gap here point of four now but Linko does have to see no she had a, just a different line it's just an optical glitch and Linko does touch the wall now and uh, it looks like yeah might be able to snipe it here with a good ice slide Linko is making a mistake it looks like Shorty will take first place a little bit of a wonky exit and it looks like oh Zara almost sniping second place there from her team at by six thousand of a second but it doesn't matter wouldn't have mattered linko is in fourth place it is a tie uh not quite satisfying for zara i can imagine but uh, she is definitely going to bounce back you've mentioned it it's rare that we see her doing a mistake it is usually everyone else doing the mistakes and her pinning down the pedal to the metal and uh, setting the times to beat but this time around it looks like shorty and linko they had a good rest from yesterday's difficult day they are coming out the gate swinging and so far it is linko in the lead shorty is now taking over the lead or is it zara once again nope linko actually stays in the lead all four of them almost equal into the ice line but linko hits the wall and also almost goes over the wall sarah is the cleanest she's taking the win shorty in second and yeah is making it a victory for meow we're back to a tight score again here we go and of course this is a map picked by team meow i think yes it is so you can see why they favor it there's a mistake from ya right at the start that's unfortunate that will cost you a lot of time she is looking at about 0.8 now i think Zara is trying to minimize the damage here. She is close to Linko and Shorty both fighting for that first spot. She needs to get first place if she wants to force a tie here and at least second uh, in order to not get aced. But she is fast and we know she can uh, definitely step up when she needs to. Linko, it's up to her now to defend that first place. But it looks like Zara has a bit of a different line here. Who's going to come out on top into the ice? Linko touching the wall right at the start. And it is Zara who comes through it pretty nicely. She will take a first place here. Shorty cannot quite catch up. Very close behind, though. The 800th of a second. And it is another tie. The score is 5-5. That's a good start into this specific match. We're going to see if they can keep it up. So far, all four of them seem to be equal on pace. It's all about who can keep it clean. Who can optimize the lines. And so far... It's not going the way of anyone. They are not giving each other any room to breathe. But Linko is making a claim for that first place once more. She is coming out of the gate. She wants to prove her worth on this fine afternoon, evening, on this Sunday, the 17th of December. And so far, Linko and Shorty are controlling the race the into the ice slide. Can they keep it clean once more? Sarah, she's an absolute menace in this ice part. Shorty what? hits the wall. Sarah hits it too, but she what comes a snipe. much better. And it's a win for Sarah. She's taking the draw for Meow. What an important snipe that was. Uh, now suddenly it's 6-6 six, six instead of looking at a deficit here. Very nice round there from uh, Zara. All right, let's go. Who is going to take the next one? Right now, we're all kind of equal. Does it look like... No, everybody's still close together. Linko and Shorty, though, having a bit of a lead. It's very tiny, though. Zara is pushing it. You can tell her just cutting these corners, basically. And she has now taken over second place. She's still looking to catch one of the others. This is so close. There, the three of them are one car, honestly. 
This is an amazing race unfolding here. We're going into the ice, which has proven problematic for some players. It's always a little bit scary. Shorty doing a bit of a wall bang there. And it looks to be giving her plus 10 speed. She takes the win. We have another tie on her hands. Wow. Unfortunate for Linko. She's sliding out in the ice turn once more. If she would have made it, that would have been an easy lead for Equinox. But she cannot quite keep it clean. Yeah, capitalizes on it. And Meow are now on track point as our equinox can any of those two teams capitalize on it or is this going to go on for a while longer linko shorty and sarah with a mighty clean start once more yeah is losing a bit of ground but only a quarter of a second behind the lead shorty and linko are trading the lead between each other and Sarah's trying to get into the equation as well but can she do it Beautiful can she somehow line get these two quick ladies from equinox or does she have to wait for an ice slide again her mighty special weapon the ice slide linko in the lead but she keeps it clean that this time around lines. sarah once again with the what? snipe is that oh my god man is this real life or is this all just a simulation sarah with another it's a script snipe. Wow, that like I thought shorty had shorty went so close to that inside there with her front wheels, but she didn't touch it. It was really good. Zara just came out of it with so much speed, unbelievable. All right, uh, now it's Zara though with a little bit of a clip on that jump there at the start, so she will be uh, looking at about a second to catch up on a point six. Uh, that's not a good way to start this round. Ya has to step it up now. She needs to get the points. She they cannot be aced if it. If it's an ace or even a victory, it's gonna be over. So force the draw or win yourself. Linko and Shorty though have now a point three gap between them and Ya. So Ya really needs to step on it. The pressure is building right now. That last ice slide. Ya does not have the best one. And it is Shorty and Linko who come out on top and they will take the first map. And Linko even sets a new PV to G set the record straight. She is not holding down, not even uh, in the presence of her own teammate, in the presence of Shorty, who has been considered one of the best players in the WRL, not just last season, but also this season, stepped up properly and uh, took a well-deserved October tournament win along the way. Now she's looking to get back into the top three and maybe poke a little bit of uh, stress at the Birds of Prey and fairy tales but we're gonna see how it's going to go i did not expect an ace to decide the map but no, here we either. are <laughs> and linko with a 0.3 pb has absolutely been driving out of her mind in this series so far but it's only map two and nothing is decided yet shorty with some interesting strats in the warm-up here on that on that cake <laughs> wall <laughs> <laughs> All right, just to get that out of the way so you don't do it in live rounds, right? That's how that's how that works. We have the first round here of starting on a nest, a map, a map made by Switch. It is Ya who has a bit of a wonky start, and she will not be playing a huge part of this uh, of this round. We're looking at the front here where three girls are still very, very close together. Linko, Shorty, and Zara fighting for the points here. It is Linko and Shorty, though, who are zooming like crazy they have already a point four gap a point three gap between them and zara and if they get through this quarter pipe jump correctly then they will maybe extend it even zara jumping a little bit to the side has to oversteer a bit ya has to respawn that is unfortunate linko and shorty zara now crashing into that flag at the corner if they know what's happening they will just easily drive to the finish here and start with that ace for equinox that is a good start they, are, they have the momentum. They're feeling it. That did absolutely not like look like easing it into the finish. Linko <laughs> fired up and ready to bring this home once more. She's leading the Equinox girls for another ace. And Shorty, she's just doing her job. Her teammate is absolutely on fire. And she knows all she needs to do is keep it clean. And as I say that, the cast of strikes again. She just scrapes the checkpoint. How likely is it for that to happen? But Linko is still in the lead, so Equinox have not lost anything yet. 
Sarah is trying to contest for that lead, but is not quite able to do so. Shorty is once again hitting a wall. She is probably out of the equation for the moment. Ya is also on the sausage block, not quite able to keep the line, so she's out of the equation. Linko is still in the lead. It's between her and Sarah. If Shorty cannot Our bring Mrs. anything sensational to the table, but Sarah misses the final quarter pipe and has to respawn not once, but twice. Linko, she basically has a guaranteed win if she keeps it clean here into the risky finish. 51.5. That ace. is a beautiful time. Shorty brings it home in second, makes it an ace for Equinox. Linko is on fire right now. My goodness. She is driving such good times, gets so many first places. She's not messing around today. Holy moly. Okay, we go into the next round. Let's see if she can repeat that performance and shorty also with a second place a two second gap even because everybody made a mistake except linko but it doesn't seem to matter they're once again in first and second place here and zara and ya have a big task ahead of them to stop the momentum that the the equinox girls are having right now but let's see how they handle it zara taking over second place she is also not messing around here and she's stepping up to the plate and telling those girls hold on a minute i'm still here too now she's gonna make sure that she gets this quarter pipe checkpoint she does a good turnaround linko does have a very good turnaround as well and look at that she's already gone shorty in third place now but linko is gonna get another uh first place here if nothing goes wrong shorty touching the wall a little bit slows her down a little but not enough to lose third place it's a win for Equinox, and the score is 1-8. to eight. There's only two points left to get, and the gap is seven points. That is huge. I don't know how many Red Bulls Linko had today, but she's definitely channeling her inner superstar, her inner Max Verstappen, or as she's from Spain, maybe her inner Fernando Alonso. We don't know about that quite yet. Maybe we can ask her about that later, but she's in the lead once again. Shorty is now taking over second place from Sarah. Somehow Shorty and Sarah can't even keep up with Linko. That is meaning a lot from Linko's side. She's stepping up properly today and showing everyone who's boss around here. Beautiful quarter pipe, but Sarah Star once restart. again misses the checkpoint. Oh, no. She once again is just short of it and Shorty is saying Thank you very much, taking over second place uncontested. Linkyo is bringing it home once again. Wow. Once more, a 51. She's absolutely consistent, absolutely unbeatable, invincible on Nest. And she's bringing home an ace and a map victory on Nest for Equinox. Equinox is playing out of their minds right now. And whoever ends up in the lower bracket final, I mean watch out because they're they're on something <laughs> they're doing so good we go to decadence this could be the last match uh last map of this uh matchup if equinox managed to take it if they don't we will go to map four which uh let me see which map that was i wrote it down somewhere that would be uh celeste celestia if uh, we get there but they have to get through decadence first eight seconds left in the warm-up let's see if meow has an answer to this because wow equinox is just on another level right now this is crazy now fun fact linko has also taken the most individual round wins in uh, this series so far so that is probably telling a lot about how quick she is going today how confident she is today and she's displaying another bit of confidence by going into the lead once more. Oh, Shorty hits the water and has to respawn. And that is unfortunate. So Linko is fighting the Meow Girls alone. But we have seen that she's not easily fought down. Sarah is now taking over the lead. But Linko is sticking to the rear of her car. As if it was a bit of melt molten cheese. And uh, Sarah, you have to watch out. In this last whoa, turn, you have whoa, to keep whoa. it clean. Linko is coming ever closer, but cannot quite catch her. It's a 41.8 for Sarah, and Linko is not even 10th off. Ya makes it a victory for Miao, and they're finally back in the lead. Only 700 of a second. That was a very 
very almost snipe there from Linko, but she didn't quite manage it. We have a round two. Meow needs to take this map or this matchup will be over and they will unfortunately be out of the tournament in fourth place. So it's all or nothing right now. And I think they know it. Zara fighting for first place with Linko, who is uh, just driving a very, very good tournament right now. Uh, but Zara having a really good round. This is Meow's map pick. So they know they can be good on this. And it is Ya now with a 0.6 deficit. But Zara is not. She's taking names. And look at her go. That's the last turn she's going into. Linko is going to do what she can. But she can't quite get close enough. It's a draw on this round. With Shorty in a third position. Also quite close behind. Only 0.3. And the score is three to two, so we keep the gap small, and anything is still possible. Meow still in the lead. Forty-one point five. That is once again a strong winning time. Shorty is now into the lead with Linko in close, in second place. Can they maybe get something done on this specific round? Sarah has lost a bit of time in the early stages, but Ya is still around and contesting. Linko, for the top two, but now she's also losing oh, a bit of ground. Oh. Linko is now hitting an inside pole. That is not helping her efforts, but she hasn't respawned so far, which means she can still keep going. Shorty in the lead, but Sarah is winning no. to pounce by any mistake. Uh, no slide into the wall. Shorty is out of it too, which means Sarah takes oh. over the lead. Shorty can somehow keep the second place. Can she also bring it home? She cannot. Ya comes home in second, and we have an ace for Meow. Wow. And I think well, I read it somewhere in the chat. 2 and 0 is the most dangerous position against Meow. And it seems that is like true. They are yesterday, back. They did the, yesterday, they did the whole reverse sweep versus the big bonkers. And so they, we know that they have the mental to come back from this. And that's what they're showing right now. This is their answer to being 2 0 down. And it is a scary answer if you are an Equinox fan or an Equinox player. Linko though doesn't uh, is not very phased by this, and she will take first place. This match is on fire right now. Linko, Zara, Shorty, and Ya also not too far behind. Let's see who can come out on top here. Shorty going to inside line through the poles here. Linko will take first place. It looks like, and Zara in second. Shorty not quite able to catch up. It is a nut it is a victory for Equinox, and they shorten the gap a little bit. It will be seven to four with a win for them. The that is a track point though for me out. If they ace, they can take it. That is how you bounce back with a PB. Linko takes the win in that specific round, and so far it is three points. Uh, that means Meow can close it out with an ace and go to map four, but they can also lose their entire advantage with an ace. Linko now sliding out. Has she touched the water there? It well, seems water was, like yeah. she did. Unfortunate for the Spanish racer. She has to get out of the equation for the moment. Shorty is now looking to chase down Sarah, but we know that Sarah is absolutely clean and quick on this specific track. Nobody is going the spam line or the margin line, whatever you want to call it. Sarah is bringing it home safely. Shorty comes home in second, just three tenths off. And Ya makes it another victory for Meow and Equinox. They need to ace the next round if they want to have a chance to win this. They need to ace indeed, because only one point will be enough for the ladies of Meow. So a first or a second place will do the trick. They just have to get through this. They just have to get safe and not let Shorty and Alinko ace them. That is the mission right now, and let's see if they can make it happen. Ya with a little bit of a different line there, that loses her a little bit of time. And it is Linko who touches the inside there, so she is at the moment out of the picture. So that ace might still be on the table. The pressure now is on Shorty to make sure that that doesn't happen. She is fighting it out with Zara though, she knows what the plan is, and she's now taking over a first place. We go into the sausage drift, and she will take the outside poles. And let's see if Zara manages to keep up, catch up with her. It doesn't look like it. The gap is 0.5. Shorty will take it. Zara does take second place. So that is the point they needed. The score is 10 to 7. And Meow is back on the board. And the score is 2 to 1 in maps. We go to map 4, which is Celeste. Wow. That was a close one. Once what an more. answer from Meow, though. Linko was really close to stealing that second place, too. Now, oh, wow. that is just, uh, that is a statement from Linko on a map 
that Miao picked. She's super close to bringing the fight to the uh, to the other team in a big advantage. But this time around, Celestia, I think this map was uh yeah celestia one of ellipsis maps we have multiple of those and uh, chances are we're going to see multiple of those in the next season of the wrl2 because ellipse is really good at building maps and uh yeah this one we have seen some epic snipes and some epic duels from shorty especially on this specific map maybe she can bring up the ease once more and show what she's capable of Quailin, round one take it away yes this is of course a map i've been aching to see this weekend and we finally get to see it here we are on celestia the map of the snipes we have a good start by shorty and linko both and ya and zara close behind but it's the equinox girls in the lead at the moment shorty clipping the edge of the track and that will slow her down significantly so now it's up to linko to hold the line and she will have to get a third a first place here in order to force a tie here we go into that sausage section on to the grass and another sausage section very tightly taken there by zara that was a beautiful line and she takes over first place with it we go into that next one the jump who's gonna snipe it away they're both having a good line it is linko who takes it back and <laughs> forces the tie wow what a battle see and this is why i love celestia <laughs> wow <laughs> it doesn't amazing. get any better than this linko is now taking over the sniping duties from shorty in the last turn once more and we're going to see if they can continue this on to the next round shorty will be looking to keep it absolutely mighty clean this time around and so far, she's in second place. But as I say that, the cast of first strikes again. <laughs> Standing respawn. She's out of the equation for the moment. But Linko is once again in the lead. And she's in the lead quite substantially. Three and a half tenths ahead of Sarah for the moment. Ya in third place is trying to hang on for her life. And so far, it's looking like it's going the way of Linko. On to the final jump. This one can be tricky, but not if you're named Linko. She's bringing it home absolutely cleanly with a 43.8. A beautiful race from her side. And Sarah and Ya will have to make do with another draw. I am severely impressed by your ability to cast a curse every single time. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> insane. Okay, here we go round uh i think it's round three yes uh linko and shorty are very close to taking this match if they manage to win this map it is their map pick uh yes this is their map pick so let's see oh wait what happened there linko crashing uh has to respawn and that is so unfortunate it is zara now in the lead but shorty has a good line and she will take over that lead or maybe it is just depending on the turn here. Let's see if she can take it back. Zara, for now, in first place. Ya yeah, with a second of a gap between her and the leader. Zara has the best line for the finish here. If she managed to get that aim right, and she can, she will take first place. Shorty will take third. Ya yeah, in, uh, sorry, Shorty, Shorty will take second. Ya yeah, in third, Linko in fourth. That is a win for Meow, and they take a tiny, tiny lead. Four to three. We're going to see if that lead persists. If the last few rounds are anything to go by, Minyao are at a substantial advantage by now because these rounds have been so close and there were so many draws. But this time, Shorty is keeping it mighty clean. She's risking it brutally hard. Shorty, but weird so line. So far, it looks like she cannot quite keep it clean. Unfortunately for her, a little bit too much on the outside, too far down on the super weird whatever off camera part and Sarah is back in the lead with Linko chasing her down with half a second away from the German it doesn't look like she can interfere with the race result any further Sarah keeps it clean comes home in first place Kanya clutch it out she doesn't have to clutch it out because Shorty is a long distance behind her and it's another victory for Miao wow it is six to four and they're getting closer and closer to tying it up in maps here uh this is equinox's map pick 
So let's hope that they can come back from this. The gap is not very big. It's only two points, but it's still something you need to catch up on. Shorty and Linko now with a good start. Let's see if they can hold on to it. I'm going to take a look at Zara in third place here. Actually, she's... Yeah, she's still in uh, third place, but she is fighting with Shorty there. The gap is nothing. These three are super close together. And now it's Shorty who makes a bit of a different line, and she's now 0.2 behind. There's a little bit of a, of a gap appearing. It is Linko and Zara now fighting it out there in the front on the grass pit. Let's see about this last turn. They both have good speed. It looks to be Zara in first. Yes, it is so close, but... The draw is on the board. The score is 7-5, to five, and this is a map point for Meow if they manage to ace it. Very seven good run. and 5. It's about as close as on the previous map. And we're going to see if Meow could bring it home, if they can force another 5-mapper. They are experienced in those, and they are experienced in reverse sweeps. We're going to see if they can make that happen once more. So far, we have Equinox in p1 and p2 though and sarah has to watch her own lines because that was super close to the wall the shorty is now taking over the lead linko still in second sarah in third looking to pounce if there's any mistake any suboptimal line but yeah losing a lot of ground for the moment linko now RSP. with a slow slightly compromised line shorty what? he's also what? catching her and sarah is sniping away the victory what? on this specific one that means we get another draw and Equinox from prime position to draw position in the course of a single corner. What did I just witness? Oh my goodness, that was an amazing line by Zara. Just taking away that first place just like that, forcing the draw instead of an ace. That is huge. Eight to six. They only need a victory now or two draws. That will work too. And let's see how they perform on this one shorty now takes the lead with a very good start zara is in pursuit very close behind her and linko point a seven and a little bit of a gap also ya yeah, with about two seconds of a gap she is not going to be uh, uh taking a part of this battle in the front here it is between zara and shorty and shorty knows the mission she cannot let zara get first place here we go into the last jump she has a good line and zara oh wait what oh wow very close. Linko almost sniped that. But Shorty does manage first place. Linko gets third. And the score is 9-8. to eight. Meow only needs a draw now. A loss would tie it up. One point away from taking the map. Now it is time to shine for both teams. You're almost at dead even scores. Linko and Shorty are taking that very seriously. They are out of the gates swinging properly. And Sarah is looking to somehow get closer to them. She can catch up a little bit into this uh, few set of turns and into the plastic part. Linko with a beautiful inside line is also getting away from Sarah once more over the sausage blocks. Sarah has more speed once again though into the final turn and we have seen how good she is at sniping. Oh. Linko hits the wall. Can Shorty what? somehow bring it home? She can! But, but Yam point. also brings it. She snipes Linko. That means we have a draw. We go to map number five. We Zara second place. Yeah. Zara taking second place was already enough. Oh my goodness. Well, we go to the fifth map. It's going to be Thorns. Celestia once again delivering on the uh, on the on the last turns there on the jumps on the finishes. Wow, this is crazy. Is Meow going to do this again? Are they going to do the reverse sweep again? They might. They just might. They're well on the way. They've got two maps. Uh, the last two maps were theirs. They won them. So the momentum is in their favor. Can Equinox come back from this? They started out so well. And we know they can be fast. We know how fast they can be. And they need to get it together right now if they want to make this happen. If they want to cancel out this reverse sweep momentum that they've got going here for Meow. Amazing. What a match. Absolute insanity so far. Absolute insanity. Meow are so close to making another reverse sweep happen. It would be the second on the championship weekend alone. Yeah, Can they make it happen? We're going to see about that. Yeah, with a little bit of a mistake in the early parts of the race. 
but Sarah in the lead, with Queen, which means for the moment it's not consequential. Linko with a suboptimal line into a crash, and Sarah has to let go of Shorty for the moment. We are in prime draw position once more. Shorty is building her advantage further and further ahead. Seven tenths. That is a lot of time between those two. And it doesn't look like Sarah can quite catch up again. Shorty is keeping it somewhat safe. But she's still almost as quick as Sarah through the last part. Jakob's up in third. And we have another draw. We start this last map with a draw. Whoever wins this map will go on to the uh, lower bracket finals. And the winner of that will, of course, end up in the grand finals against, I think it's going to be Birds of Prey, I've read. I'm not 100% sure. Just glancing in the chat. But for now, we're going to focus on this match. Shorty Gray with a good start. She is in first place. Zara very close behind. And Linko also in their rear. Has to do a little bit of correcting there, I feel like. And she loses a little bit of time there. But is it Ya who is already further behind? So Linko is still in third place. Zara and Shorty will be battling it out. It is a little bit of a gap now, about 0.2. And let's see if Shorty can make up for that. She does come a little bit closer. It is all about these last drifts here. Who can risk it the most? It does look like Shorty has more speed, but will it be enough? It doesn't look like it. Zara will secure first place. Shorty and Linko will be in second and third. And we have another draw. It doesn't get closer than this, though. Like, oh my goodness. Two and two. We're still quite far at the beginning, and I would like to remind you that the Birds of Prey versus uh, Fairy Tales match has ended quite early. Birds of Prey, with another display of dominance, have uh, probably caught Fairy Tale a little bit on the wrong foot or still very tired. We do have another strong display from Sarah in this technical middle part. Shorty in second, Ja in third is looking to chase down the Slovakian driver. But can she do it? Or can she at least keep it ahead of Linko? Because Shorty is setting after Sarah and she's trying to get the first place away from her rival. But it doesn't seem like she's quick enough. Sarah brings home another win. Uh, Shorty in second and Linko steals away third place from Ja, which means we get another draw. Three draws in a row. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I mean, these girls are so equal in speed and pace and skill, and it's it's beautiful to see. Yeah, though, making a mistake, bumping into that pillar there. So it is up to Zara, Shorty, and Linko to decide who takes the win in this round. Let's see, Zara, for the moment, in first place, but closely followed by Shorty. And actually, Shorty taking over first now. Linko also still in the mix here. Shorty making a mistake. It's now up to Linko to hold the line. And Zara to... Linko also making a mistake. Zara will be the one taking over first now. And if Shorty can stay ahead of Ya, this will be another draw. What a matchup here. I think it's nerves in play. And there's something going on here. Because tiny, tiny mistakes are being made. And they really need to put their focus on and get it uh together because this is the match uh this is the map you need to win right here this is when it needs to happen another time draw put on, four four wow time to put on the focus hat and yep. deliver when it's needed the most we have a small bonk here i think from ya yeah, it was and sarah is just getting out there with a compromised line but shorty also not with the best line possible through the second car which oh. means we get Sarah back into second place. Can she also steal away the first place from Linko? She is mighty quick on this attempt. Nails the plastic part. Somehow doesn't hit that ball. I don't know how that didn't land in the ball right there. But she's keeping it clean. Linko, however, is also putting the foot down and looks to steal away the win. She does. Sarah in second. And with Shorty in third, that means... The draws have ended for the moment and Equinox are taking a victory. Five to six, only four points away from a spot in the lower bracket final here and five points for Meow. Who can focus the most? Who can keep it together? Who can make the most shiny lines here? Let's see who can uh, make it happen. Shorty and Link. What is that? Shorty had a really weird line. I think she had a no slide. And that is going to cost you a lot of time. It's now up to Linko to hold the line and to uh, 
fight off Zara, who is breathing down her neck. And she needs to get first place here in order to limit that damage. You don't want to get a loss right after you get a victory. They are so close. It looks like Zara has a bit more speed. Can Linko get it back, though? Who can get do the dirt faster? It does look like Linko can get it. She does manage to take it back. And Shorty takes third place. That's another win. And they are now two points away from the win. Match point for Equinox. You what a round. must be joking. Linko is absolutely out of her mind right now. She is not to be held back this evening. And she's looking to win a championship here. Shorty now in the lead ahead of Zara. And I think Zara, she's probably starting to get a little annoyed at the endless snipes that Linko <laughs> has sent her way already. And it looks like Linko is trying to snipe another first place away from her once more. You're looking at Shorty in third Sarah. place for the moment. Sarah is Whoa. making a mistake. This time she's been hitting the wall. Her line was risky. Her line was mighty quick. But when it goes wrong, it goes totally wrong. Which means is. Linko is going is. to take the race win. Shorty comes wow. home in second. And they take the map. They take Thorns. They take the third point. And that means they take the series. And go on to the top three while Meow uh, uh, are eliminated from the season one championship finals. I have no words. Oh my god, what I just witnessed here. Huge GG to Equinox, huge GG to Meow for putting up such an amazing fight. What on earth was that? Ah, uh, both teams just driving out of their minds right now. That was amazing to see. I, I can't believe it. That was so cool meow almost pulled off the reverse sweep again they couldn't quite make it because linko and shorty but especially linko today holy moly she was just on another planet uh, wow that was amazing amazing match to want uh, to watch one of the most entertaining ones probably of the entire season i would uh, i would dare say that was amazing that is how you step up and deliver a masterful performance. Linko has single-handedly taken over this lower bracket semifinal. And she's looking to make a huge impact here. Miao, they have fought with great effort. They have shown Amazing the speed. They have proven well. their talent. But unfortunately, they are just falling short by five points on the final map against Equinox. And I gotta say, Sarah and Ya, you two can be absolutely proud of your performance, even though it's quote-unquote just a fourth place in the championship finals. And we would love to see you again next season sometime in 2024, because that is guaranteed to be another interesting entry to a season and maybe even a championship like, contender. My heart is beating. Imagine the players right now. Like, oh my goodness. That that was that was amazing. Yeah, amazing performance by both Meow and Equinox. We're gonna see Equinox, of course, again, they'll be facing the fairy tales in the next match, the lower bracket final. And I got information here that that is going to be happening in a, a 17 minutes. So I think we'll be taking a little bit of a break while we all recover from this. Uh, from this spectacular thing that we've just witnessed and uh, then we will see you back in a few minutes don't go anywhere the lower bracket final between fairy tale and equinox is coming right up and then we're going to decide who faces birds of prey in the grand final so we'll see you in a little bit